What's up? I'm Rocco and welcome to Supplement Spotlight. Today we are going to discuss the importance of micronutrients. We will cover the difference between micronutrients and macronutrients. We will go over the importance of micronutrients, where we can get these micronutrients from, and the recommended amount of micronutrients to hit your goal. Our micronutrients and our macronutrients are both needed to survive. Our micronutrients are going to be our vitamins and minerals. Our macronutrients are going to be our proteins, carbs, and fats. Our macronutrients provide us with many different functions. For example, carbohydrates is going to give us energy, proteins will help with muscle recovery, and fats are going to be helpful with hormone production and much more. As far as micronutrients, we're going to get these from mostly fruits and vegetables. Without these fruits and veggies or micronutrients, it is very hard for our body to operate or perform any task, even down to the smallest cellular level. This also translates back to your fitness goals too, making it very hard to burn fat or build muscle. And there is a ton of deficiencies on a micronutrient level in today's society. You may be asking, how can I ensure that I'm hitting my micronutrient goals per day? We should be getting about six to eight different servings of fruits and veggies different colors to hit that goal. That is why vegetables are so important on our day-to-day -day eating. If we can't get those servings in day-to-day, -day, this is where we can use supplementation. Multivitamin is a great option to make sure we are gonna get 100% or more our daily intake of vitamins and minerals, also our micronutrients, to ensure we are hitting those goals. When it comes to multivitamin, there are gonna be four different types you will see tablets, gummies, powders, and capsules. Now we would recommend a capsule or a powder because when you're manufacturing gummies, they're using high heats. Those high heats will denature those micronutrients, making it less bioavailable for your body to use. Tablets are coated in wax, so it is very hard for your digestion system to break down and utilize. So that is why we're gonna recommend powders and capsules. Soft gel capsules and powders are going to be very easily broken down by the gut, making sure your body can utilize these and use these a lot better. Thank you for stopping into Supplement Spotlight. If you have any questions regarding vitamins or minerals or micronutrients, feel free to stop into any of your local S2 locations. Until next time, S2 Faction.